Hi guys, Mr. Rain here. This video, I want to show you how to grab the Hazard Trophy and or Achievement. This requires you to defeat Lord Blackguard in the Grand Joust event. Now, before you even get started on this, you're going to have to do a lot of research. Now, if you come down to your research room and click on New Project, in this list, if you look at the top over here, Academic, go to Academic, over here there will be Research, Joust Track 1, 2, and 3. Once you've done that to level 3, then you will be able to upgrade your Joust Track to actually do it to level three. If you look at the top of the screen there, jousting track level three. Once that has been done, if you click on the grass in the area and then look on the bottom right hand corner of the screen, right over there, we have set up an event. So we're gonna to go to set up an event and now this grand joust over here is only gonna be available if it's at the max level, guys. Now, it would be cool if you could choose a student to actually go in the uh, actual tournament because I've got some students that have passed at like 96% and other ones that are not. So I don't know how that works and if I'm actually able to adjust their calendars. But for the time being, if you just say start event, we're going to go book event right there. Staff are reminded and now if you look on the very, very, very bottom of the screen, uh, let's pause that for a second. If you look on the very bottom of the screen, if I push up, if you look at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, there's a little D-pad saying up. If I push up again, it's going to take my cursor down here. Then I can go all the way across, as you can see here, Grand Joust, Grand Joust, which I did before, and then the one I just um, did right now. So there's two events. So I've got two chances of winning it there, and I could actually just do another one, and then I put it at the end over there. But uh, once the event starts, and uh, I will be sure to show you that event when it comes, but uh, I need a couple of months to wait, but in your instance, a couple of minutes. I'll catch you in a second. Just a quick note here again, if you look on the right-hand side now, it says 14 days to the Grand Joust. I can't really select it, but uh, it's in between those two there. And uh, that just gives you a bit of a heads up and uh, allows you to be able to watch it. I haven't actually seen one myself, so this will be the first time I'm seeing it. And also, just another quick note, guys. Um, I'm going to be starting a Discord group for this game. And if you feel that uh, you would like to join that, you can email me from the description. It's a lot easier to help people with pictures and with the aid of pictures and on Discord because the YouTube comments are a little bit chaotic uh, at most of the time. So send me an email from the description if you'd like to join the Discord. And I'll catch you in a, well, I'll catch you in 12 days, as in probably about five minutes. Okay, so we're coming up to it right here. It says it starts in one day. As you can see, all the flags and stuff are out. Here he comes. Let's go in normal speed first. So there is the champion. That's Lord Blackguard right there. Uh-oh. We'll have to go slow-mo then as it gets to it. Looks like he got knocked off, or I got knocked off. Okay, here we go again. Let's go slow-mo. Oh yeah, we have a hit. Fantastic. Yeah, so the one that drops off over here is going to be the loser. I wonder how many rounds it takes. Let's go again. Slow-mo. Yep, looks like my one goes out a bit further. Yeah, there we go. This is also to finish this uh, campaign level. I think I need to hit him one more time. I have no idea how jousting works. Ah, he's upset. There we go. Huzzah. <laughs> Fan fugu tastic. That's awesome. It's so cool how you can do little things like this. Oh, Bachelor of Smarts as well. Let's see what that is quickly. 12 stars across your career. What a fantastic way to end a video. Just a quick note again, guys. If you want to join the Discord group, there's a, a lot of things that I've picked up uh, on my travels through these. Um, mainly, it is the staff and uh, actually organizing the staff better you know if you don't go to a certain staff member and change what they can and can't do here then it's just going to be chaos because you don't want someone who's a level seven researcher doing a you know picking up litter although they won't pick up litter you don't want them to be teaching something else you want them to be in research but that's just a little thing so email me from the description if you'd like to do that and if you have any other questions at all just ask me i'm always going to reply to the newer videos and the comments that youtube does send me so guys i want to say thank you so much for watching i want to catch you on the next one